Hello, this is Oliver, K6OLI, and I will show you today how to fill out a Did You Feel It report for USGS for 2023 ShakeOut. Let's start with in WinLink, creating a new message. We click on Select Template, Standard Templates, and we go to the USGS folder here, click on the plus, and then we select the USGS DYFI or did you feel it form double click on that that brings up a browser window and this is the form and you can fill out the form I'd like to point out that only the WinLink form has the exercise option so please only use the WinLink form to submit exercises in the optional exercise ID we want to in type in 2023 shakeout and please type it exactly as that 2023 shakeout if you want to customize your group name or add your group name or add additional information please do that in the comments using this will make it very easy for the United States Geological Survey to ascribe your report to the shakeout exercise in 2023. So please use 2023 shakeout. Did you feel it? It is an exercise. We can click on yes. On October 19th, you will enter the date, if it's not already filled in, of 10 19 2023. And the time you will give as 10 19. That's the shakeout date and time 1019 at 1019 and the time is always local times your location please give your street address your city and your state so include your house number your street your city your state and your zip that will make it really helpful you can add a latitude and longitude to match in my case they match because I'm using a GPS that is connected now this is all you have to do to fill out the form. These are the required fields. Everything else is optional, but I highly recommend that you um, go through the following questions. Let's do that together. What was your situation during an earthquake? I'm inside a building right now. I'm on the second floor. How tall was the building? It's a two-story building. Was I asleep? No. Did others need nearby feel it? That kind of gives you an indication of how widespread the shaking was in our case let's say everyone almost everyone felt it um, how would you describe the shaking go with strong make it a strong exercise right how did you react let's say we were excited you respond we dropped we covered and we that's the standard response in earthquake country in the u.s drop cover hold on was it difficult to stand or walk? In our case, let's say yes. Did you notice any swinging or other free hanging objects? Yes, light swinging. Do you hear creaking and other noises? Yes, slight noises. Did objects rattle, topple, or fall off shelves? So these are questions about the physics of it. So think about how much energy does it take to do any of these next questions. In our case, let's say a few toppled or fell off. It's quite common during earthquakes. Did pictures on the wall move or get knocked or skewed? Yes, but they did not fall. Did any furniture or appliances slide, topple over, become displaced? Understand it takes a lot more energy to move furniture and appliances than it does to move pictures on the wall. So in our case, let's say um, maybe some of them slid. Was a heavy appliance affected? Yes, contents fell out in our case. Were freestanding walls or fences damaged? And we can say we don't know because we're inside, so not specified. That's a perfectly good answer. By the way, you can skip any of these questions if you want to. You don't have to select any radio button, but it's always more fun to do that. And let's say there were hairline cracks in the walls. Now additional comments. Remember how I just said we can have additional comments here? Well, in my case, I'll type in my group. LAX Northeast, and I'm sending this via Vara HF, and I can add any additional comments. 
fun with shake out. There you go. All right. If you want to, you can uh, click on this link and that toggles the earthquake early warning survey on or off. You're welcome to fill that out. But in our case, we're going to click on submit. We will get an intensity estimate. In this case, it's seven, a very strong earthquake. This estimate is generated by WinLink, but it's built on the code that USGS uses. So this will be very close to how USGS will interpret the information you provide once it receives it. We click on continue. We can minimize this. And here in the outbox, we have our message. The USGS official email address is already filled in. We encourage you to also add shakeout. That helps us map it within WinLink. And of course, our friends in Ventura, DYFI at vccomm.org. There's an at missing here. At dyfi at vccomm.org. And they will send you back a very nice message saying that they received your report because USGS is a one way report. They will not send an acknowledgement, but dyfi at vccomm.org will send you an acknowledgement. So that will make your life. Um, easier and it's kind of nice to get a report back from them and in that case we're done we can see all the information here we entered exercise we entered the correct shakeout uh, 2023 shakeout um, exercise id so please again use 2023 shakeout for this year and add any additional information in the comments we post this to outbox and then we select our session and we open the session we send our message so far so good in our case now i do want to point out that 